All right. We're live on Instagram. We are. Hello, We're Instagram. We're live on Facebook Live. We're live in Suzanne's kitchen. Yeah. Okay. Cooking. We have fruit and flowers. Look at that. And garlic. Look at the cornucopia. And we're cooking. Let's see what's cooking today. Mm. Well, it's a combination of things. This is that mushroom soup I promised to teach oh, you. I love that mushroom And I will soup. soon be sauteing the mushroom topping. Mm. And here are the peaches for Caroline's grilled peach and farro salad. Which actually, is, apricot. An apricot. For the tomato salad, actually. For the tomato salad. <laughs> I got it all wrong. Oh, apricot. Or any any one of those combinations though would be great. It would, it would be good in the faro. Yeah, we could do that. Apricot. I've never heard apricot. You say tomato. I say tomato. That's correct. You say apricot, Alan? No, I say apricot. Oh, I say. I don't yeah. think I. Say I think apricot. I say apricot. I say, I say apricot. Yeah, they don't even let you into Canada if if you don't if you say apricot. These are all Canadian terms. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Could you and introduce these are, these me? Because I want to just start my my. Um, okay. My shallots. And there she is, a woman who needs no introduction. No. None. But it would be nice. Is Suzanne it? and Caroline. Yeah, here we both are. Both with the same last name. I know how, how that, did that happened. Happen? I don't know. I don't know. I chose she her. Birth. Okay, I go chose to her. it. <laughs> okay. I okay. told you, I think it was last week, that I was going to make my. We're cooking today. Duh. Look at this cornucopia of beautiful food. And I told you that I was going to be making. Um, mushroom soup that would make you cry so good and it's so easy it's so good <laughs> it's so easy and Alan's crying already no, she has secrets it's not easy the thing the, the secret there is a secret let me first pour the olive oil yeah I don't measure and this is not the Suzanne olive oil this is just the cooking oil yeah it's very good quality extra virgin but I don't use the Suzanne olive extra oil extra virgin extra virgin all right so what I want to do is put my, well, just a minute. Do you need that burner on? So I can do that for you. I got it on. Oh, okay, it's on low. Is that what you want? No, no more. Low? Um, I want it. It's on to, simmer. Yeah, I want to bring it up a little bit to get it. The thing with um, shallots, shallots are a secret. I've got two secrets in this soup. How you cook the shallots, very important. So they're just, I get the temperature up a little bit at top, and I don't want to burn them. I want them to get translucent and a little, little bit golden. If you do more than that, you kind of screw it up. So I'm going to leave these going for a while. But while I'm doing this, why don't you start your salad? Okay. So Lee Conger says the rubs are back in stock. Woohoo! Yes, wow. they are. It's an infusio day. We're so. having a uh, cocktail party today. I haven't had one for a long time. So here you go. Top of the morning to you. Mm. And the top of the morning to you. <laughs> so here's the deal today. Okay. 25% off site wide, promo code INFUSIO25. And here are these wonderful things. Yeah, so you guys have been waiting for Suzanne's amazing sea salt rubs to be back in stock. Today is the day. She's going to be cooking for you. She's going to use this Provence in the mushroom soup. And the Tuscan, she's going to do in a delicious chicken dish. Um, and the Southwest, we love this. We're not using it today because we kind of went Mediterranean today. And you guys are familiar with Suzanne's infused olive oils and balsamic vinegars. They're spectacular. So we're going to cook with a few of these today. Everything is 25% off at SuzanneSummers.com. Infusio 25. All right, so you want me to do my salad? Yeah, but actually, before you start, could you um, coarsely chop some of those mushrooms? You bet. Coarsely. Where are we going to do that? I'll do it right here. Yeah? Well, then we get your back. Come over here. Because your front is so pretty. Well, okay. And I've, I've, uh, I've got room here. Okay, so we're doing mushrooms. Yeah. No one makes soup like Suzanne. That's actually true. No, she, she really, you do make the best soup. Yeah. You know what, know what it is about soup? It's not hard. It's just understanding the layering. And there are a lot of layers in it. And one of the big layers is that stock that I taught you, and Car Caroline does the same kind of stock, where every time you've got leftover vegetables, you put it in a bag, 
The other thing I've been adding, because Alan's a corn freak, is, and I made my most recent stuff, but I put my corn husks. Oh, that's so good. I'm in the soup. It thickens it. Yeah, and also it adds what, um, these are shiitakes. You can use any kind of mushroom you want, but. And the shiitakes, you've got to take the stem off. Yeah, but the, um, here's the corn husk. So I've got three of them. You put that in your stock. Not in my stock. stock. Yeah. yeah. When she makes that amazing chicken stock that she's made for you guys. Before. Yeah. But the, the last chicken stock I made. Well, I have an interesting question here. What? And uh, I, I can't tell you who it's from because it floated by. And what's the uh, question? The question was, how come some bottles look different sizes from the others? Yeah, how what? come? Well, because during uh, the pandemic, pandemic, they had difficulty getting the components. And rather than run out of olive oil and balsamic, we allowed them to use a different bottle. It's the exact same number of uh, ounces. It's just a different shape. So it's a little fatty. Yeah, <laughs> but it's okay. same oil. Same, same amount. oil, same amount. Just you know, they were but during, it bothers the, us, during the believe. pandemic. A guy on t TV did a demonstration. When you buy the largest, you know, the most famous coffee place you go to buy coffee, bought the large one, poured it in a glass, bought a medium one, poured it in a glass exactly the same size, and a small one exactly the same size. And you know what? There's the same amount in all of them. It's just that the cups were narrower. The taller really? it was, yeah. yeah. Little, everybody's so, skimpy. So when, when you go to that famous coffee place, you don't have to order a large. No. We're going to have to test the tester on that. Okay, now I'm turning these down. Well, we're not saying what the coffee place is. She's definitely mean Starbucks. But... I didn't say it. I didn't say it. I'm the one allowed to say that. She, she's yeah. the one who said it. Okay, so Alan, these are getting chopped up here. You want them sliced? No, I want them haphazard because I'm going to put it in the Cuisinart. Not oh, even, not even, just like oh you're putting them in the Cuisinart. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. wants it like this. Yeah. And leave out three. One, two, three. Okay. 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 Oh, you're going in the Cuisinart with this. Yeah, okay. so that okay. pretty soon just put it in a bowl and just sh shove it in the Cuisinart. Okay. And you want the ones you already chopped too, or are those something else happening That's with That's for this? the topping. Okay. Um, where did my bowl just go here? It is. Hmm. Um, do you have? See, this is what Suzanne would put in her freezer bag to make the stock. Yes, and here's Things my like, freezer bag. These are trimmings. So here's my beginning freezer because bag. because the 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 stock. I don't waste any. Why her soup is so incredible. It is. Okay. Wait till I show it to you. And every time it's different. You know, the last dinner we had, we had sweet potatoes and whole garlics baked. And I put corn cobs and a whole head of parsley. And that's what this stock is going to be. You want these over here? Yeah, in the Cuisinart. Caroline and I grew up together in the kitchen. That's true. You want me to pulse it? You want me to do yeah, it? Yeah, uh, pulse it. There you go. You want to see this up? Pardon me? You want to see this pulsing of the mushroom? Certainly. Okay, let her rip. How fine do you want this? That's about fine there, because I'm going to put it in the Cuisinart once more after it cooks for a while. Okay. okay. All right, thank you. We're done okay. here. <laughs> okay. That was about, I don't know, what did you say, about 20 mushrooms? Uh, depends on the size. That looks like it's about four cups of mushrooms. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Do you want a spoon? Okay. No, I'm okay. Now you start your salad. Okay. Out. Except I want to add one thing to this here, <laughs> as I always do, as I think about it. And then you, you're free. Okay. Add a little butter to this, because everything t tastes better with a little butter, right? Out. Everything. And if you've never tried the sea salt rubs before, it just makes you a great cook. It's a 
dinner maker. It is. It's true. All of these ingredients can help you to be as fabulous at seasoning as Susanna's. Thank you. Okay, wait. We have to show. Come over. She keeps saying for me to start, but oh, don't sorry. forget to shake that because the salt kind okay. of goes to the bottom. So this is the Provence sea salt rub. I'm going to throw in about a, uh, like a heaping capful. Okay. Oh, let shake. me shake it for you because when you first get these, can you see how like the lavender, because this says lavender and fennel seed, and the salt can kind of set Love up to the fennel. bottom. So there she goes. Okay. Okay. A heaping capful. I'm going to say that's a tablespoon ish. Yeah. yeah. I might add more later. It's all about taste. Okay, now you go. Okay, I got the butter right, in there come and on over here. Salt. Here he comes. Okay. He's dosy doing around the kitchen. Yep. So I'm gonna make a little caprese salad with these beautiful heirloom tomatoes. And I kind of I picked all different colors. This one is a red one. This one was a pink one. This one it has that beautiful green color. This one has look at that purple and red color. Yeah. And I cut them all in different shapes because I think it just makes for kind of a more interesting way to lay it out. And then you just layer these in a serving platter and mix up the colors and the shapes. Are we having the mushroom soup for dinner? Uh huh. And also the, the tomatoes? Yep, and with the farro. And the, and the and chicken salad. And the, uh, Suzanne's chicken. making a wonderful chicken dish too. Okay, so these are all kind of beautifully displayed. It just kind of makes it a little more interesting when you break it up, right? Okay, so now. I'm going to add these gorgeous grilled apricots. So I did these in advance and I just put a little bit of this basil infusio olive oil right here. Oh. For the edification of right here. Uh, our Canadian audience, apricots. Apricot, yeah, apricot. <laughs> okay, so I put a little bit of basil olive oil and I used some of the Hacien sea salt rub. A little bit of this. And again, like Suzanne was talking about, just to add a little bit of those flavor layers. So now I'm just going to make these kind of in here. Our mommy's going to take a sip of her tequila. Okay. I would be joining you, but I have okay, to drive. Mommy. So, okay. So now we're going to add some of these pretty grill. I was actually looking for peaches, but the apricots looked better today. And don't so. you think this time of the year you kind of can do either? Absolutely, and you, I mean, just look for what is ripe and beautiful, yeah. really. I bought a dozen white nectarines. I love white nectarines. I stopped eating peaches. I'm more into nectarines, too. Nectarines. Yeah. And they weren't ripe, so I set them out, and they did not ripen. They didn't. Okay, Can you so, take a look? Oh, oh, she's doing that, and then come over to me. Okay, this is the, this is a, a buffala <laughs> mozzarella. And you just want to break this up, and again, a little bit of the warmth from the from the apricot on the cheese is really nice. And you can slice this if you prefer. This rustic tearing is seems to kind of go with this vibe, which I think is pretty. That looks so good. Yum. Okay, here's what all those mushrooms cook down to. So it looked like a lot, but really, and I just want to get them cooked a little a little more, and then I'm going to add the stock. And then I'm going to let it. Okay, so Alan, now we are going to use a little bit of the Tuscan sea salt rub. Just a little, because I don't want to overdo. This has enough sort of flavoring. I love the Tuscan. Yeah, it's really good. And I'm also going to use some, would you mind passing me the salt and pepper? Yeah. Oh, a salt shaker that works. Yeah. Regular, and then I'm going to do some extra regular salt because, like I said, on this one, I'm not looking for. I'm going to let the oils and vinegars do most of the flavoring on this. Okay, now is the fun part. This, um, I'm going to use the basil olive oil, and this is the one that comes in the gift set. Um, if you guys have seen the variety pack, 
Uh, you can also get these oils in that, that sample size. That is the size. greatest gift you can give someone. The variety yeah, pack of really oil is. and balsamics. You have a good All shot here, Al? Ready? Here comes the pour shot. Yeah. Um, okay, so... So many of these olive oils or balsamics would be delicious on this. I decided to go with basil for the oil. And I am going to use two different balsamics. I'm first going to use you, okay, go on. Go on. the white peach. I love the white peach. I chug a like, chug a like the white peach. Do you need to interject, Suzanne? I want to just do one thing so okay. I can get this. Watch to Suzanne on the soup. Okay. Here is my stock. That's no canned stock. You can't find that in a can. This is from Jello. a whole chicken dinner. Jelly. Yeah, watch. That's when when it, know it's really, yeah. really great. Okay. I think I can use most of this. Okay. All right, you can go away now. Okay. Go back to okay. Carol. I'm getting a photo because... I'm going to post these recipes for you guys, and I'm going to want that photo. Okay, so now I'm going to use, like I said, two different balsamics. This is a white balsamic, and it's infused with peach, which I thought just a touch of that with those grilled apricots will be nice. And it just gives a little bit of sweetness, but it's not overpowering. And then I'm also going to use just a little bit of the traditional. Mm. And a little bit goes a long way. Look how thick these are. It is, it's really, it's a glaze. You, you do not need to overdo it here. So these products are expensive, but they go a long way, and you just won't even believe how it makes your food pop. And then lastly, I'm going to get some basil here. Now, you guys saw me make that start to finish, except for the, you know, the minor so chopping pretty. I did beforehand. Yum. And it is the oils and vinegars, the infusio, that really just makes this yep. come alive. So here we go. Yum. Okay. There it is. That's my favorite compliment from Alan when he goes, yum. Yeah. <laughs> the last time I said yum, was when you made the mushroom soup yesterday. Was it yesterday? Yeah, or was that the no, tomato soup? No, yesterday was the tomato soup that was so good that I ate a second big bowl. Yeah, that was really good. Yeah. I'll make that for you in a week or two. Okay. Okay. It's all about the stock. You tell me when you want me to... Uh, are you ready for Alan, or do you want me to move ahead with Faro? Um, Let me oh, just do oh, this. She's, that's up. Okay. Yeah. So this is what? This is, I'm just doing these sliced extra mushrooms for topping for the soup. Oh. So if you look over here, this is just starting to be cooked. I have to put that in the Cuisinart to get it to turn out like this. This one is the one I made earlier, and this is done. Look how rich and thick and beautiful. So I'm going to ladle this into the fry pan, and then I'll show you how I'm going to top it. With these mushrooms here that I'm slicing and frying or sauteing, I'm going to add a little more herb de Provence, sea salt, and it's going to taste amazing with lavender and thyme and fennel. Look at that. It's going to be so good. And you guys might not know this, but Suzanne spent every summer in the south of France for many years. Yep. And she learned to cook like a French amazing I was for you. Yeah. I was so turned on by the way they cooked. They wasted nothing. And that's what I've been trying to teach all of you. With food prices the way they are now, you can't waste a thing. That's why we use all the tops of the mushrooms and the corn cobs and everything so that... And it makes your food taste better. And it makes your, your food taste but That's why their food is so great. Last night's dinner is part of tonight's dinner. And I love cooking like that. So what I'm going to do, these are all coated now in olive oil, a little butter, and the herbs of Provence. I'm just going to let them sit and brown. 
and then um, I'll be able to serve the this amazing soup. But this isn't done yet. This one is done. I think I'll turn it off. Mm. Okay. And there's Pharaoh. Okay. okay. Do your Pharaoh. Pharaoh. See, Pharaoh. I was going to say Pharaoh. It can Pharaoh. be Pharaoh. Pharaoh or Pharaoh. Well, okay. in Canada, it's Pharaoh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so if you guys have not heard of Pharaoh, this is, you can find it in higher end stores or Italian markets. Um, and it's a grain, it's a whole grain. Um, this is from Abruzzo, which is in, it's near Tuscany in Italy. And you, you um, soak this for 20 minutes and then you boil it and just until it's al dente. So that, that has been done. So you can make this a warm salad, you can make it a room temp salad. And then I cut up a bunch of herbs to go with it. So this is Italian parsley. I used a bunch of Italian parsley because you want a lot of herbs in this. Yeah. Mm. This is fresh mint. Mm. These are some green onions. Mm. Wouldn't you love to have a sous chef at home that has all this already all pre-cut in dishes? Yeah. I think we do. When, <laughs> when, I, when I do cooking demonstrations on TV, that's what happens. It's so luxurious. This is um, little baby bell peppers, oh, just to give that, that just a like little that. bit of crunch. I'm going to put a little bit of fresh lemon on here. Okay, now I'm going to use the Meyer lemon olive oil. Infusio. Infusio. Infusio 25 is your promo code today. This is a great salad to have as a side because... And it chills well too. Yeah, and, and you can do it in advance, which when you're entertaining, it's nice. And in summer, you know, when you're in Italy in the summertime, you don't want to eat anything hot. No. So salads like this become... Take one look at these. You got it. Okay. Just show you it. Okay, go back to Caroline now. Okay, and then... Don't order me around. <laughs> um, Never. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay, here Check we go. <laughs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It's okay. Okay, and then, um, Suzanne, when you get over there, I could use the salt and pepper. Okay. Oh, well, you have it? No, I gave it back to you. Oh, you did? Okay. Here you go. Thank you. Okay. All right. Now, and if you wanted to add a seasoned salt here, you could. I think this has enough flavor in it. So... Mary, I will post the recipes tomorrow. But these are all kind of assembly. And Suzanne's soup needs a recipe. Everything else you're going to see pretty free form here. Okay, so here's the paro salad. I'm going to put this lemon in here. Okay, and then Alan, the last thing we're going to add is the balsamic. The pomegranate. That's the other one I chucked. It's about. delicious. Yeah. He actually does. <coughs> you can he put it on. the bottle. Oh, hold on, I have to get a photo I'm first. With these. And you can put it on ice cream. Um, well, you, I don't know if you guys are aware, but there's a TikTok video where people are putting balsamic in sparkling water. And how's that? I don't know. We should try. Yeah. I mean, with ours, it's probably great. Yeah. Okay. So here comes the pomegranate, and again, just a little drizzle on the top. Yum. And this you would do right before you serve it. But what happens with the leftovers that are chilled? It'll be great. Yeah. So you don't really need to. I guess you could refresh it when you take it out of the refrigerator. Yeah. A little more, a little more. And again, you don't want to use too much, because right. I know someone who's been dying for a bite of this. Yes, I'll be, your, I'll be that person. Here we go. Okay. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Does it need more salt? 
No. I don't think so. Okay, cameraman. Cameraman's coming in for a bite. Okay. Ready? Here it comes. Where it comes, Alan. Mmm. <laughs> Mm. Wow. So fresh, so easy. So you can see while Suzanne is busy making our soup and the main course, these two salads here are all ready to go and set aside here. Wow, look at that summer. That just looks like wow. summer bounty, right? Wow, that's so incredible. Gorgeous. Okay. okay, I'm going to serve some soup. Oh, wow. Is your topping ready? Yeah. Your garnishes. Suzanne, that's the other thing about Suzanne's soup, you guys, is she makes the most unbelievable garnishes. And it's like, it's a big deal. It is. Okay, that soup I still have to Cuisinart, but this right. is the done one. Yum. And remember, the stock. You saw what the stock looked like. It looks like jelly. It is jelly. And that's the uh, sign of a perfect stock. When you, get, when you put it in the fridge and it gets gelatinous. Yeah, I'm sorry to tell you that your soup will never be as good as Suzanne's. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. It will. No, I'm sorry. It won't. <laughs> Look at me, Suzanne. Okay. <laughs> Why don't we? I just need a smile ready. Here. Okay. <laughs> and all these things get closer at some point, right? All right, let me just, I've got to tip this pot. I need to get in this drawer to get Oh, and more. also, we were going to put a little of the Herbe de Provence olive oil as a little drizzle in the soup. Yep, here, yep. here's your. Pretty good, but it's but, haphazard. You know? I know, but she has a. Uh, it's like a decades-long finessing of I her taught stock. I her everything she knows. I, actually, it was your mom. <laughs> your mom taught her how to make the stock, and yeah, then she mother. taught me. So I feel like your mom taught me. So did you put the olive oil in here? I did. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for it? I am ready. Top, maybe put the topping first, or you want the olive uh, oil? Oh yeah. First? The top. The okay. Let's do this. This is sour cream. That way you can make a creamy mushroom soup if you want. Can you use creme fraiche? You may. I like mine in a dollop. He likes to smoosh it all together. I do. Um, when I have a dollop, then I can kind of you actually, have a bit you, of this and a bit of that. A little avocado. Last that time. was tomato soup. You're mixing up your soup. No, we're just testing to see if you're <laughs> yeah. you help you Yeah, out? you want to do this? Yeah. This is my bad hand. If you notice, I'm gimpy on that hand. Yeah, much better. You know, you take things for granted like being able to spoon things properly. So, oh, I, wow, I can, I wish you guys could smell the herb yeah. de Provence in here. Can you see how, and again, it's all done for you in and the probably bottle. Probably you can just from that pan in there. Oh, yeah, that's true. How do you spell juzuz? this. Yeah, I mean, why waste it? Yeah, it's all because good. Because that is the infused oil with infused with yeah. mushrooms. Okay. Okay, and then the last thing. Give me olive oil, and I'll get a spoon. Okay, so the last thing is we're just going to hit this with just a little bit of the Herbe de Provence Infusio olive oil. Infusio, and yep. that's also the promo code, Infusio25. So this is just going to get, again, a very light hand, guys. Just 
Just mm. a little teeny drizzle. One more layer. Okay. Wow, these look amazing. You get my picture, so you guys will have a picture when we post the rest. Try Suzanne's pomegranate. Oh, I, I missed it. But the pomegranate balsamic is amazing. Yeah, but it was over something. Okay. And it whizzed by. All right. Okay. I'll so I could use your strength right now. Just pour it into the Cuisinart. Oh, well, this is not for right now. So no. you want to eat the soup now? Let's yeah. Let's just put this over here. We don't yeah. Okay. Right That's not pretty. All right. Okay, um, Al, do you want to? You want me to, to get on camera and you can have some soup? Uh, well, no, why don't you have it? I'll have, I'll have a taste. I can do this one-handed. Suzanne, you want to taste this? I do. I want to take this one because it's screwy. Okay. Oh, you have to get Suzanne eating, Al. Okay. <laughs> you can't help himself. It's Ooh. a holy crap. You can make, do you see how easy no. that was? This is a holy crap. No, I just had it. Mm. Mm. Well, and the sliced mushrooms mm. on, on the top, pull it together. Mm. She and I, uh, that is real talent. Mm. Takes one to know one. Wow. Mm. The, I mean, I've had her mushroom soup many times, but I have to say with that extra herb to provide I think so. There, it's a little extra I think so. something, something. I think so. But you're right, that crusty mushroom on the top is, yep. And that's mm. exactly what it is, crusty. Wow, mm. is that good. Oh my God. This good. must be so satisfying to watch because mm. when I watch your videos and you bring the spoon right up mm. and I go, put it in your mouth, <laughs> eat it. Cause I'm eating it with you. Okay, I'm just gonna wow. throw these chicken pie arts on. What are you doing? I'm throwing the chicken Pie arts on the on the high heat. Are those tenders? They're breasts, pounded breasts, pounded pounded breasts that I'm. Um, hold on, this one. This Tuscan. Sounds painful. Yeah. This is the um, Tuscan sea salt rub. Who guys. wants pounded breasts? Yeah. Unless you're doing the pounding. <laughs> <laughs> Did I show this? She's. This is all she's doing to season these. Can you see, Alan? It's already got the salt in it, Alan. Yeah. Come here. Okay, so the Tuscan here is um, Celtic sea salt, oregano, garlic, basil, thyme, black pepper, sage, rosemary, and red pepper. Here you go. No, I'm watching my hands with oh, soap. Okay. I'll do the other side. I get in trouble. Oh. Okay, so see, just one coating of seasoning on both sides. All right, so that's, that's so easy. I like to get these kind of crusty on one side and then turn it over. All right, is this mine? Yeah. No, this is mine. Which one is yours? Do you have lipstick on? Yours is the one with the double. Shield. Okay, all right. I'm just going to flatten these out for you. Please do. Okay. Single layer. You'll need three minutes on each side, probably. Yeah. Probably. Get the bottom side cooked a little more than the top side. <laughs> and make sure your pan is hot before you add the chicken. You see how Suzanne preheated the pan? Yeah, I get the pan like real hot. Last night we had, as Alan said, the tomato soup. And, um, and then we had a steak. I haven't had a steak in a long time. We took a ribeye steak and I cooked it real hot and fast, but the pan was sizzling hot. I put the steak on it thin. Mm -hmm for like three minutes, maybe, if that much, and then turned it over and then cut it in half to see how raw it was and then kept cooking it. And I used, um, I think, the Tuscan rub, and it was so good. And then we had flattened smashed uh, potatoes. Yum. Mm. So this is the, uh, what Suzanne's going to do with this chicken pie art. She's going to deglaze the pan with this vanilla fig, which is one of our favorites. And you really just need a little bit, and she just warms it up after she cooks the chicken and pours it over the top. You will blow away this combination here, the Tuscan and the Manila fig. This is all you need to make 
a chicken, a pounded chicken cutlet that is going to blow your family or your own mind or yeah. um, someone you're trying to impress. Yeah. Because all the seasoning is done for you. Good boyfriend dinner. Yeah. I don't have any It's one of the things I like about you. Actually, most of my friends are women. I know, women love him. You know, you don't get threatened by women when your husband is always mm -hmm. It's true. I, when, when women are around him, I see they're all boogie around him. I think I get it. It's true. Well, I like drowning in estrogen. <laughs> so the, the soup here has cooled off a little bit. It's still good, don't you think? Oh. So good. All right. Here comes the flip out. Okay. Ooh. Can I get it? Yeah, you get the same. Mm -hmm. See, I never care about sizzling because I wear leopard when I cook. It's the greatest, great. I'm, I'm, I'm standing back like this. Yeah. <laughs> they don't ruin your beautiful gloves. Okay. okay. So back to the soup. The only, um, we're only out of one flavor on the Infusio products. We are out of the black cherry, but it will be back in about two weeks. Um, but if you love the black cherry, I highly recommend you try the balsamic because they both kind of give you that sweet fruit hint with the, uh, they're, I mean, they're two of my favorites. Um, we love this white peach. Any of these, you guys can also put them over ice cream. Um, it makes for, you wouldn't, it sounds confusing, but when you taste it, there's like a sweet and a savory thing that happens that's pretty spectacular. We love this vanilla fig. It's great on chicken. It's great on appetizers, like a grilled fig wrapped in prosciutto with just like a little dollop of this is unreal. This is the blood orange olive oil. I easily could have used that in the farro salad. I chose the Meyer lemon, um, but this is a wonderful, just barely a taste of that blood orange. This one is basil. So the basil I used with the caprese salad over here because it just makes for a nice layering. This is the herb de Provence, which Suzanne used in the soup. And this one is the Meyer lemon. So these are all cold pressed olive oils that come from, they're, they're, they're just beautiful Italian olive oils infused with these additional flavors. And it just, I don't know, just makes them a little extra special. I think the balsamic has been uh, Sitting in a barrel for 84 years, is no correct? I think you're lying. That's all lying. But they have been aged for a minimum of 12 years. That's pretty great. That's why, you know how you don't like balsamic in the grocery store or at a restaurant because it's acidic tasting? Exactly. I never, I never liked it. I always said, please, no balsamic on like this. I love because of the aging. It's like syrup. There's nothing about it that's acidic. But they would, they would never use this in a restaurant. I think you can um, add the... Uh, it would be too expensive. No, no, no. Okay. Vanilla fig to play. Al. Come here, Al. Oh, okay. like for the last minute. And you don't need a lot of it. Because it's not just me. Yeah, it's not me. It's very good. Okay. You don't need a lot because it's expensive and it's so loaded with flavor. So delicious. Yeah, so good. Look at that. Dang. Okay, that's dinner. Huh. Wow. I got you a new plate. That's, you didn't get yeah. the old plate, did you? Or is that the yeah, old I did. Let me get you a new one. Okay. okay. I think it's a new one, but I use it as a steam plate. Okay, let's go, darling. 
Mushroom soup, um, garnished with fried mushroom, crunchy uh, mushrooms, and sour cream, and this. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Mm. 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 Yum. Yum. Okay, I'm building. Yeah. Al's plate. Okay, so here's your chicken. I mean, this is a great looking summer dinner. Okay, now I'm gonna go in here. Am I a lucky dude or what? Are we? Look at this, now she's giving you a apricot. And the, uh, is it ricotta? Apricot. It's actually um, it right? buffalo mozzarella. <coughs> Bless you. I need okay. nasal when you. Well, I know where you can find some. Now I gotta order more. I gave it all away at lunch. You were really shouting. But I'm passionate about it, aren't you? Oh yeah. It works in 15 minutes. Okay. Hi, you Alan? wanna come to my house for dinner? Look at that. Well. Do you, you wanna do sit that? down and eat, Suzanne, or do you, you want Alan to eat? Um, no, why don't you eat? Yeah, he's a better camera guy than me. Okay. Well, I can camera. And I finished the soup. All, All right. right, let me get a picture of this before you eat it. Yeah. <clears throat> Yum. Okay. All right. With all your hats behind you. Look at me. <laughs> okay, let me get one picture of this. Wow. Where do I begin? Move your hand. Oh, there we go. Sorry. Okay, perfect. Which phone is mine? Is the, I think the one near the peaches. I'll get it for you. What was the question? It doesn't matter. I think that's mine. I hear, a, yeah. I hear I have an up to date phone. Okay. Oh, Suzanne Summers is live now. <laughs> okay, you want to come around here, Ellen, and get the bite shot? Okay. Someone um, DM'd me and said, I just wanted to let you know during the show we could read Suzanne's text. Isn't that nice? <laughs> she was letting you know not well, to thank leave you. your phone open. Luckily, I have nothing to hide. Yeah. Here, so. Okay. So you know what? I can make myself a plate. Can you I? can. Okay, well we're gonna let Suzanne eat while you make a plate. I go right for the pharaoh. Pharaoh. Pharaoh, pharaoh. So I, I should cut this chicken in half, right? Mm. No, you can have it. I've I've eaten enough. Yeah? Yes. You'll never eat it. Mm. Well, you never know. Mm. Mm. All those layers in there? No, that's what it is. Cooking is layers. So all those steps that she took are why it's so great. Otherwise, it's just feral. But this has every, every bite. I taste something different. I'll take one more bite. What do I taste? Such a great summer. Mm. Mm. Summer plate mm. there. Mm. Mm. And again, the nice part about this is that you can get those, mm. that, the heirloom tomatoes and the farro salad done. Yeah. In advance, and you saw how fast it was because all the seasoning was done for you. I taste the onion. I taste the what are the greens? Parsley. I taste the red pepper. Mint. Oh, mint. That's what I taste. Mint. Wow. The mint is an incredible ingredient in there. Wow. Here's Al. Oh, hello. Hi. You come here often? 
<laughs> Hope, hoping. What are you doing after the show? Hoping I'll, I'll run into you. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. Polly but, wants to know um, oh, how is lemon infused? How is the lemon infused olive oil? It's. Is it my favorite? I think it's my favorite. I think it is. I use it I, I every day. I have to day. try hard not to use it. Me too. So. That good? Mmm. Is that a chicken bite? What are you eating now? Chicken. The chicken? Nice. Chicken. What would the world do without chickens? I don't know, but that steak we had the other night was great. Mm. I'm going to have the... Mary said, these balsamics are seriously so rich and smooth. They are not acidic. Mm -hmm. You're right, Mary. I have GERD and they never bother me. Wow, that's, that really says something about the lack of... Wow. Acid. Yeah. No, they're mm. sweet. They're... Mm. Beverly said, I'm changing the way I eat after watching this segment. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, this is really healthy. People think healthy food is boring food. Well, Health, healthy great. food is delicious food. Yeah. I look um, at this as delicious medicine. LAF18 said, what's in the chicken? Well, I'm going to show you because mm -hmm. you may have come in late. And Suzanne literally could not have made this more easily. Now, of course, she could have done it from scratch on her own because that's who she is. But we took flavor pro profiles that Suzanne cooks with. I have to say a little bit of my mother is in this Tuscan too. Yep. Um, this is the Tuscan sea salt rub. So just, all she did was put this on the pounded chicken breast. It already has the good quality yeah. salt in it. So it's the Celtic sea salt or Celtic if you prefer. Mm -hmm. Oregano, garlic, basil, thyme, black pepper, sage, rosemary, and red pepper. That's the little bit of chili flake in there. The, the chicken is superb. Well, okay. see, yeah, you know how to cook like that on your own, but now if they you do. don't, you now can just do. take this home. Then what she did was she cooked that hot and fast in a pan in just regular cooking olive oil, like a good extra virgin olive oil, but not one of these infused ones. And then she just deglazed it at the very end with a little bit of this vanilla fig balsamic. Can the, can the infusio oils be used with heat or only in salads or to garnish? To garnish. Um, or garnish. Garnish. What does garnish mean? <laughs> um, you wouldn't use them with heat because they're, they're too expensive. They're finishing oils. Finishing oils, or if you were going to do something if you're gonna de -glaze, to cook for a minute. If you're going to deglaze, use them. The balsamic, yes. Yeah, balsamic. But the oil. No, not the, don't waste the oil cooking it. Yeah. And I again, say, it's like a sauce, almost. This promo code, it's Infusio25. All of these products are available at SuzanneSummers.com and here's a used spoon in the Shaw. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was See, my kitchen is not as perfect as Caroline's. <laughs> With the remnants of half-eaten delicious soup. <laughs> this chicken is incredible. And, it's and you usually hate chicken breast. No. Mm. It's the, it is the um, balsamic on the top, wow. And by the way, this grilled apricot. I'm coming to you. With schmooze a, little, schmooze a little of that buffalo mozzarella. And yeah. The warm apricot wow. and the. Wow. You know, I, I don't quite hate chicken breast anymore. You don't? Because when we eat when we eat chicken and I, you know, carve it. Uh -huh. Oh. He's a great, a right. master carver. Carver. Mm -hmm. He is. I, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've stopped eating the dark meat yeah, the legs. Yeah, because you cut the breast paper, paper I thin. I cut the breast paper, paper thin. Mm -hmm. So when mm -hmm. we put the sauce on, mm -hmm. the thin breast absorbs the sauce, mm -hmm. and it's incredible. Like this. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Robin, the bottles did not get smaller. We explained earlier that during the pandemic, we had to switch to a we all had a to make do. your bottle because our regular size bottle wasn't available, but it is the exact same milliliter, um, just a little shorter in fat. And there's nothing wrong well, with that. Well, now on top of this, we had a business lunch today. You should have seen what we ate at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I actually posted it on your story. Did you? Yeah. We had grilled artichokes that honestly. Done correctly, they can make you cry. They're so good. And we had a chicken salad from the roast chicken we had a couple of nights ago. Out of that roast chicken, I made that chicken salad and the stock that I used in the soup today. We had um, 
cold meats and cheeses and hummus and guacamole and chips, like mm. grazing kind of food. It was so good. But I'm ready for more. Kathleen made your roast chicken the other night. And how did it turn out? I'll wait till you can answer. Uh, Francis Ray said, I love that I received the four bottle set. I reordered the white peach balsamic. I'm waiting for you all. Sorry, I can't read the rest of it. Um, to get the black cherry back in stock and I'll order it as well. I love the blood orange and herb de Provence olive oils and plan to reorder when I'm out. So um, I'm so happy to hear that, Francis. What Francis is talking about is that we have two gift sets where you can get four flavors, two oils and two vinegars in these darling gift boxes. It is literally the best hostess gift you can give someone. Or you can do it for yourself so you can test which flavors you like. So it's these, uh, it's four of these smaller bottles in a gift box. I don't know how she could have seen my text. No, no, not today. It was the other day. Oh, the other day? Uh, during the fashion show. Oh, really? Yeah, but that was nice of her. Yeah. Oh, oh, because it was sitting, oh, I see. You yeah. was sitting on it and you checked your text and yeah. she was, but your ladies look out for you and your men. Thank you, darling. Yeah. Well, we made the two salads. The, the homemade mushroom soup, the chicken pie yard, ate it, and the hour's up. It is. Unbelievable. And you can do all this. Caroline will post the recipes. Make, this, make these things. They're, you see, they're simple, and people will be blown away. Make, make it for company, because you see, you can do it at last minute. It's real mm -hmm. easy. And, and we also, you know, we are, this is a small batch supplier, mm -hmm. so we try to keep up with demand as much as possible, yep. but every time we do a show, we blow through blow it, out, so yeah, if you're yeah. interested, you know, hopefully yeah. jump in and get it quickly. We're trying to stay on top of demand. Yeah. Um, there will be no dessert tonight. We are all so full. I'm so full. I can't yeah. even think about <laughs> we having We can't even pretend yeah, I to can't. make a dessert just for My dessert is finishing the rest of the although what? Although, what? I've had what I think is going to be a great watermelon. Oh. In the fridge oh. since yesterday. Yeah, oh. but I can't. So it could be. Mm. 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 Mm -mm. We'll have that in bed tonight. Yeah, that's great. I don't think so. That's a great idea. Maybe um, you will. John, the seasoning salts are back in stock. I think you're just joining us. Uh, that's our friend John on Instagram. Hi, John. Hi, John, John is. We named uses, a room. We named a room after you. <laughs> he's, John uses a lot of our products, and he DMs me, and I've been giving him advice and. He's great? really having such great results, like with the whole Gut Renew line, and um, he's great. Uh, so, John, we have the sea salts back in stock, all three flavors. Um, you guys, I will post Suzanne's recipes to, um, hopefully tomorrow so on full? her page, Almost. on Instagram Almost and page. Facebook, okay. and they will be on her blog, which you can find on her website. Look They're, at Alan, he's almost finished with his chicken, that never happens. Wow. He, We're not doing an after show tonight because the show and the after show are all in one. And Caroline has to drive home to Los Angeles. Yes. Exactly. Or unless you want to stay overnight. No, I think I, I, I'm good. I'm okay. coming home. All, all right, you guys, thanks for joining good night. us. We're back. Thank uh, you. Wednesday. I love you. That's so all Wednesday that's important. Wednesday is Alan's uh, birthday show. Oh, right. The night before his birthday. We're doing a little birthday Don't send show. money. <laughs> <laughs> Can you believe this is going to be 86 tomorrow? No. <laughs> wow. She's only kidding. 68, I think. 68. Yeah. Oh. Well, 68. I'm dyslexic, so things get. <laughs> 68, it's my IQ. <laughs> How long did the balsamics last? I haven't, they don't go bad. I, I mean, they're already 12 years old, so. How know, long once will they last in your house? Yeah, once <laughs> you open it, probably a couple years. They do not need to be refrigerated. Yeah, and you'll use yeah. them up probably in a couple of months. Yeah. That's been my experience. They're so, it's of such a high quality. Okay, guys. All right, good night. Good night, thank you. Are you, are you sending us out with your line? Yeah, they know what it is, right? Want to say it with me? It's not who you are, it's not what you do, it's not what you have. It's only about who you love and who loves you. And I love you, and I love you, and I love you. And I love you. And I love you. Awesome. Good thank night, guys. You. Good night, everyone.